what's up? It's Wing Chun Kid here. We're going to show you the top three exercises for Wing Chun beginners. So if you want to learn Wing Chun and you want to be a good fighter in the shortest time possible, start doing these three exercises and get stronger. Alright, the first exercise is single leg standing. So we're going to start with our feet together. Alright, we're going to open our stance as usual. And then we're going to go on one leg and then we're just going to lift up one of our feet. Our hands we're going to put and cover our stomachs like this. Okay, we're just gonna hold up our leg as high, high as possible, bring the knee as high as possible. Okay, if you can't bring it that high, just leave it like this. And you want to make sure that your foot is on a diagonal and it's not vertical like that. Okay, hold that for 30 seconds to a minute. All right, and once you do that, just do the, second, the other leg. Put it down, then hold the other one, and put this, this leg. Okay, hold it to uh, 30 to 60 seconds. Okay, make sure you're breathing and make sure you relax. Make sure your eyes are looking straight. Okay, so just hold that like that. If you can't hold that high, you can do lower here. Okay, but the higher you go, then the stronger you get. Alright, so do that anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so another variation once you get good at this is to now put out your hands in a Baijiang position. So just this one, like this, if you go from the side, one else out here, a little bit, a little bit bent, and the other one is by the elbow here. Okay, so I'm just going to do this and hold that for 30 to 60 seconds. If you're getting tired, you can lower this leg a little bit. Okay, ideally you want to lift it nice and high like that. Okay, and then make sure your eyes are looking right down your finger here. Okay, so you go this way, I'm looking straight down my index finger. And this one is right here. Okay, so that's the um, variation of it. If you can get the first one uh, perfect, then you start doing this by raising your hand. Okay, so once you've done on one side, on the other side, okay. All right, so that's the second variation. Okay, now for the third variation, once you get those two first variations, good, now do the same thing, but close your eyes and do it. Now this is going to be a lot harder and you might be wobbly a little bit but trying to focus on having balance, trying to focus on having a uh, relaxed balance. Imagine a straight line going down and up and down the body. Okay? It's hard to do it when I'm talking so let's do it without talking. Okay? And breathe and relax. Try to hold that for 30 seconds to a minute with your eyes closed. Okay, so once you can do that 30 seconds to a minute, then you've mastered this technique. And the reason we do this is for two things. Number one, for balance. And number two, for leg strength. All right, so that's exercise number one. Go and practice. All right, technique number two, is going to train your elbow power and striking power. How we start with that, we're gonna open up our hands like this, put them together real close. Okay, if it's too hard on your wrist, then you can rotate it this way. Okay, but you don't want to be completely forward. You wanna have them at least 45, ideally on a 90 degree angle. And once you got that, you're just gonna hold this position like this. Okay, so that's the first level. Okay, so there is, go sideways, I'm actually supporting it right on my stomach there. So my elbows are right in my stomach. Make sure your uh, shoulders are nice and low, which means they're not high. They're not shrugged like this, make sure that your sh shoulders are down compared to your body. Okay, if it's too hard for you, you can start with just a kneel like this. Once you get a little bit stronger, you can do it with both feet, or even just with one foot, one toe. Okay, so hold that for 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so that's the second exercise. All right, so for a variation of the second exercise, once you get good at the first one, is now do it with your knuckles. Okay, how I like to do it is put your knuckles like this, vertical, and you wanna either, you can put your thumb here, or you can tuck it in. 
it'll be easier if you put a thumb here just for extra support and you can train your thumb strength too uh, you can do it like this so let's just uh, do it like this so put and put it in this position okay so from here you can do this and then even harder if you're tucking your thumbs or you do this a little bit easier you can train your thumbs okay so once you hold this position okay so from the side it'd be like this so notice that my fists are not completely together they can be a little bit apart like that so you go from the side like this okay now if the floor is too hard for you you might want to put a mat or something underneath the next part is just to do push-ups from this position okay so do about 10 push-ups or more okay and then hold it okay so you can do two things either hold it for 30 seconds to a minute or do push-ups from that position all right here's the third variation of exercise number two so last time we did our knuckles like this now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our knuckles this way all right and then we're going to since my knuckles are getting tired it's starting to hurt and then the mat so this one probably better to use a mat unless you have really tough knuckles you're going to put them together like this in your stomach and then now balance on just your two fists okay you can't see it see it from the side Oops. So you're just balancing on your two fists and nothing else is touching the ground. Try to straighten up your body as much as possible. Okay, and you want to hold that for 30 seconds to a minute. Alright, so exercise number one was to chain your balance and your leg strength. Exercise number two was to train your arm power and your striking power. Now exercise number three is going to train your mobility and your stance. All right, so from the um, easy kibu ma position, we're just going to do our circle stance. All right, so our left one comes a little bit past the center line and circles back out. Right one comes in. Ah, you gotta shift your weight to your left, right one comes in past the center a little bit, and then circles back to your right. You shift to your right, and so on. And then as you can just keep in a fist position up here. Okay, so a little bit faster. Try to keep your feet going back to the same position each time, so that you don't go too wide and then small, and then wide and small, and then you go to one side. So try to keep in one spot. All right, so here's the next step of that exercise. So before we were staying stationary, now we're gonna move forward. So circle with your left, and then now in the front, circle with your right, circle with your left, circle with your right. All right, notice that my feet are always pointing inwards. Same thing when I go back, still pointing inwards, still pointing inwards, and so on. Okay, and make sure that you are doing a circle. So you shift your weight to your back leg, do a circle, slide, make sure you're sliding across, uh, across the ground. Make sure you're not lifting it like that. That's different. You, you're actually sliding with your toes and still keeping contact with the ground. So going backwards like that. Kind of like skating. Alright, so that will teach you how to get control of your feet movement with your footwork. Alright, the next exercise is the same movement, except now instead of just doing the right, uh, left one and the right one, we're going to do our left one, and then we're going to do a circle back with our right one. Okay, so imagine we're just doing this, remember, we're doing this circle stance, but now we do it with both feet, with one moving forward, and the other one stay in the same place okay and then one moving forward and then the other one going back to the same place one moving forward one circle going to the same place one moving forward and so on 
Okay? And then backwards. Okay? Backwards. 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 Like that. Okay? Now make sure that you're doing the proper inside circle. Especially when you're circling the back one. You don't want to be circling out and in. It should be in then out. Because in the form it's in then out. In then out. So when you step forward, the back one should go in then out. Okay, make sure it's not going out and in. See the difference? So you go this way, the back one should go in and out. And then we use the same move, move the same leg forward, and the back one goes in and out. Then this one moves again, back one goes in and out. Then we go backwards, circle. This one again, when you're going backwards, goes in then out. Okay, make sure you don't go uh, out then in. That's the wrong way. All right, so we go backwards, in and out, and then backwards, in and out, backwards, in and out, and so on. Back to this position. All right, so that's the third variation. All right, now for our bonus exercise, we're going to combine some of those movements that we just learned. All right, so we're going to start with this, do our circle. At the same time, we're going to get our hands up in this position. So, circle. And then when your front leg is up, we're going to do our balance technique here. So we're going to leg up like this. Alright, so from now, from here, we just drop. And we're going to do it again. So circle, switch, and then kick. So let me move back. Okay, so actually you can start like this too if you want. So just circle, okay, and then as you lift up that leg, this hand comes underneath, and then we just switch to this one. Okay, and then we're just going to land our feet back in position. All right, and then we're going to do another circle. Like that. So I'll go diagonally this way. You can see better. Okay, so uh, here. all right. Okay, so just do that. Circle, up, circle, up, like that. Alright, so that combines some of those movements. So you can start practicing the leg kicks and the footwork and some of the hand movements at the same time. Hey, thanks for watching the top three exercises for Wing Chun beginners. So we learned how to use our leg power, how to use our hand power, and how to get better footwork and balance. Alright, so you work on these exercises will get you to become a stronger wintering fighter in the shortest time possible. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and get more cool stuff like this. And also check out some of my other playlists and some of my most popular videos. Alright, we'll see you soon.